So I've got my silent setter. There's some um, business cards, a sticker, a sticker maker. And then I don't have many of these. So for now, this is where I store them. If I get more, I'll have to come up with something else. But um, I've got those in there. Whiteouts, pens, markers, and then um, in here, I have some erasers and things for drawing. Some more markers. Below is my printer, which I'm waiting on my husband to figure out if it still works. And some more electronic stuff. Alright, and then in this top drawer, I have my adhesives and this little square is my husband's it's like the only square he's got in like all of the drawers <laughs> so he can have that i don't touch it paper clips and some office supplies i keep a lot of scissors so i could teach art classes so that's some sharper stuff um some pencils including some drawing pencils and some post-its and stickers and then some more office and stationary supplies here. And then in this next drawer, I have where I keep my um, filming equipment and um, headphones and some other stuff like that. Color pencils here. Some raffia. I've got matches because I like to keep candles lit. This is stuff for um, mailing and packaging. And then I keep my glasses in there. And then in this drawer, this is where I keep my Eco Emmy box so that I can check it out and see if there's anything I want to purchase from the samples. And then I have my smash book here and then some magazines that I'm currently reading. And then in this last drawer, I have tapes, some rulers and some miscellaneous stuff for painting. And then I have some rolls of paper that I usually just use so that I don't get paint on the floor of the desk. All right, on the desk, I have one of my favorite paintings, a picture of Brian's mama. And then this was a gift one year from one of his aunties during Christmas. Just a really pretty tin. Picture of the family. And then my deadly cute bouquet. And then I have a his and hers pad because we're always looking for something to write on and never have it. Charger. My mouse that everyone hates and can't stand. I've taken it to like every job I've ever been to and it baffles everyone. Our Mac glasses, a hand sanitizer that my yoga teacher gave me, which I was all excited about because it's my favorite scent, paperweight for my mom, a rooster for my mom that's actually a pen. We got that at a Cracker Barrel, which is one of our favorite places to go when we're anywhere southern. Candle tissues. This is where I keep my camera. It's one of my favorite pins. Remember, straight people can't help it. It's my favorite. And then this unit here was probably like my favorite thing that we bought at the container store. I have them all labeled. Of course, every crafter needs googly eyes. And so it just has a whole bunch of little things that I used to keep in like larger containers. And so I thought I had so much craft stuff. But when I took it out of its bulky containers and put it in here all organized, I realized it was much more doable and um organized than I thought it was and then out of this whole thing which is kind of all mine there are um like three boxes I consider Brian's the ones with batteries <laughs> and then he's got a box called small attachments and I leave that alone too because it's his so he's got like three squares out of like I don't know what's in here like 60 or 80 and then up top I keep all of my pretty glitters, the ones that have like nice packaging. And so that they don't just kind of fall off easily, what I did is I took Velcro and put Velcro, one end of the Velcro on the glitter and then one on top 
of the drawer and then I stick those on there so that they don't spill off. I also did that with the clay caterpillar I made because I think it's cute. And there's some more glitters and like that fluffy fabric, fibrous stuff. I don't know what it's called. And a troll because I'm the 80s baby. And then that's all that sits on top of the desk. Okay, so these are the bookshelves. I'm actually standing on a stepladder because I'm short. So these two top shelves, if I need to get to these craft or art supplies, I need to get on my step stool to do it. But it still works well, and I put like my most used craft supplies on this first shelf here so I don't have to get on the step stool so often. I've got um, a ceramic basset hound. I got this in a, a store in Shelby, North Carolina. And then small paper is probably the supply that I use most because I like to make cards. Okay, so this is the box of small paper and some of the things that I have in there are tags. These are journal tags which I like to put on gifts. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Halloween um, for me to use these even though this is Halloween themed. I just like the vintage feel and I don't think that all of them scream Halloween so I'll use those I have some cards and these are supposed to be used for scrapbooking sometimes I'll use it for other things than what it's supposed to be used for glitter foam sheets so just everything that'll fit in a shoe box because that's about the size of this box this is for printing pictures index cards a receipt book for if I do craft shows and this box here I purchased at Michael's, like I said, the size of a shoe box, and then it has the thing for the little piece of paper, but for now, um, I just have a label on it. So that's that one, which I'll leave down there. And then I have this large sticker stack, which won't fit in any of the drawers, and it's got a sticky back set of paper inside which I plan on using for like my Cricut, so I've got that. And then these, this ribbon set I actually just recently purchased, a set of 10 specialty ribbons from Costco. I think it was like $10, which means it was like a dollar, or it might even been less than $10. So it was either a dollar per roll or less than, and um, I try to pick up crafting deals whenever I can, because they definitely overcharge for supplies. This is more ribbon, some purchased at Michael's, Joann's, all the normal craft stores, and then I think this one is one that I purchased at Costco after the holiday season, which is a great time to buy ribbon and other wrapping paper. So eventually these will be taken out of here and sort of put on the wall with like a paper towel um, holder, and then I'll, I'll put these on there, the ribbons. And then these boxes I got during a Michael's sale where they were selling their baskets and some some of like their decorative boxes for like I don't know half off and I've got it labeled stamps and in there I have stamps and stamping supplies so that's the first shelf and then the second shelf just here I also got these containers during the Michaels sale and it holds some of the things that couldn't fit in the smaller drawers there where I have a lot of crafting supplies. So I've got feathers and these are like foam balls and then um, more feathers white I think that has a boa in it. These are like some Christmas supplies, snow and um, some other materials back there. I've got some brushes in this which is supposed to be for um, a wine bottle. I bought this years ago I don't remember where but I put my brushes in there and then I've got some oversized stickers in this sort of like a dividing folder that I probably got at Michaels one year and that hides there and then behind this which I also got at Michaels this was the smaller size there's the medium size and then behind this one is a larger size but I'll get to that in a second so if I move this You'll see um, I've got some decoupage, some sand, 
and then um, some of my like finishing sprays for paintings and drawings um, some glue for like gold leafing and then some spray paint this is actually the color that I used on my vanity in my bedroom which you could see on my home tour and then in here which I'll take down all right, so this is the container pulled down off the shelf. Again, I got it from Michael's. Got this cute little bow. It says, we loved with a love that was more than love, Edgar Allan Poe. Really beautiful box. Okay, so in here I keep some of my sketchbooks. Now, it was really hard for me to do, but when we moved from our previous apartment to this one, like I've mentioned in other videos, I did a great deal of purging. And I actually got rid of some of my sketchbooks, um, ones that, I, that weren't dear to me. And... I think it's a lesson that most artists have to learn and that's to let go. And although it's hard to do, it really does make room for future creativity and uh, keeps you not bogged down. So um, I kept the things that were precious to me and let go of a lot of the rest. So um, in here is what I call my graphic design ruler. It's got some things for typography and stroke width and stuff like that. Something we got in like our school kit years ago. I graduated from the Art Institute and one of those things you never use, um, but I keep it. And this is probably my favorite brand of um, grid paper. And I know that's kind of weird. Someone has a favorite brand of grid paper. Yes, I do. And this is it. Um, yeah, I love this stuff. I love the pad. I love it. So that's the brand. Okay, I also have normal, regular old sketchbooks. Some I've had for years all the way back to school. And then, this is really cool. Check this out, I hope this focuses. Mm, there it goes, $4.94. So this was $19.94, my friends, and for Michaels, $5.75 in 1984. And I still have it. This is one of my sketchbooks when I was little. I wanna check out my artistic talents when I was, I don't even know how old I was because I'm really terrible at math. How the hell old was I at 94? No idea. I'll, I'll write it in after I do, I grab a calculator. Isn't that weird? It's my old artwork. That I had to keep. One of the other cool ones. This was given to me by my little brother. Who I call Chalky Milk. Hey Chalky Milk. Um, I love this thing. It's got like a magnetic clasp. And the paper is white instead of lined so I sort of use it as a sketchbook and just normal old notepad but I love this like Aztec Mayan tribal thing going on I love it so that's that bin and I'll leave that one down there and that's it for the second shelf which is now a mess and I'm about to put all this stuff back so let's look at that third shelf up there I've taken the other bin down this is the medium size bin that I got and it matches the smaller one that I just showed you although it's got a different little quote here life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart and it doesn't show the um, author of that quote so if anyone knows write it in the comment bar okay in here I've got some paper flowers which I plan on using for gift wrapping and then I've got these bags from a family friend of ours and I'm not sure if she has a website but if she does I will definitely link to it because she is amazing and she does these beautiful bags and this is part of our African American Heritage series this one's called love and she hand makes those just they're just so beautiful but um, and then also in here I used to play the flute and so I kept a lot of my music sheets and I now use them for scrapbooking or decoupage like all their multimedia projects. So I've got papers in there, canvases, and the last thing in this bin are some pads of scrapbooking paper. So that's what's in there. The last things on the shelf is the largest one here, part of that series, and it says it takes a long time to grow an old friend. Very cool. Okay, and here I have my um, my T-square ruler, some more scrapbooking things, and some random paper. So that's what's in there. 
And then in these boxes, I have some things for floral because I like to purchase fresh flowers and make bouquets with them. So that's what's in there. And then this one <laughs> says, I'm laughing because look how that's spelled charcoal. My husband pointed out to me the other day that I had spelled it wrong, which I don't even realize I'm spelling things wrong until someone points it out. And then I'm like, oh, I knew how to spell it the whole time. But shout outs to other graphic designers that don't know how to spell. Uh, it says dry, which stands for my embossing tool that I use to like dry my paintings and other things with because I have zero patience. Hot, um, because my um, glue gun is in here. Oil, I can't even remember now. Something in there was oil. Oh, I have my oil paints in here. And then um, charcoal because I have my charcoal in there for sketching. And then finishes are things like gold leaf and some shellacs and some other things in there.